Sony has announced that they're following the lead in Nintendo and releasing their own classic edition console based on the PS1. Let's talk about it a little. Sony's PlayStation Classic is going to be released on the 3rd of December of this year. That is only a couple months away, really, which is not bad. It's also going to be the 24th anniversary of the PS1's initial release in Japan. So that is also, I think, pretty cool. This is going to be a fairly affordable way to play PlayStation games on a modern television with upscaling and whatnot, just like how the NES Classic and Super Nintendo Classics were. Of course, the price tag on this is 100 bucks, so it's not super cheap. I mean, there are other ways which are probably a little bit more affordable to get these playing on a modern TV, but this is the first time we're doing it with a authorized by Sony kind of means. The console itself is going to be a scaled down version of the classic PlayStation 1 style. They say it's going to be 45% the size of the original, so a little smaller than half the size. I believe that is sort of in line with the way the NES Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic were to their counterparts, I believe. So it's going to look neat kind of lining them up next to each other. The controllers are going to be USB versions of the old standard non-analog stick PlayStation 1 controller, which I'm fine with. I like those controllers. That means that the games that they're going to be focusing on are going to be that first generation PS1 type, which that's totally cool. That's what I associate with the PlayStation personally. I never really played anything much of the later time. Personally, the PlayStation 1 is a system that I had it, I enjoyed it, but that really kind of marked a time where I was kind of losing interest in video games. Nothing against the console, it's not their fault, it's just, you know, what was going on with me at the time and what I was into. Along with the console and two controllers, the system's going to be coming with an HDMI cable, of course, which, as any HDMI device should, it should include a cable, even a cheap one. It's also just going to be including a micro USB cable for power, which I know some people are not too keen about, that it's not including its own power adapter, but you know what? This is the same kind of power adapter that's included with your Raspberry Pis, Android phones, Android tablets, uh, some digital cameras if you still have one of them. One of my camcorders uses basically the exact same type of cable. And if, hell, if you don't even have one of those, you can go over to like five below, get like just a, a, a little brick, which you can plug that USB into, and boom, Bob's your uncle. You got power for only a couple bucks. Maybe a little inconvenient that you may have to buy it extra if you don't already have one of these things, but most people do already have this sort of thing already, and heck, some TVs have powered USB ports on the back of them already, so that's also an option. There are going to be 20 games for the console preloaded, and they include Jumping Flash, Tekken 3, Ridge Racer Type 4, Wild Arms, and Final Fantasy VII. Not really too much of a surprise, I don't think. Those are like games that are pretty well associated with the PlayStation. I'd like to see some Crash Bandicoot would probably be something you'd want to see on there. Maybe some Tomb Raider. Just running off things in my head, which are associated with early PlayStation 1 kind of games. Um, the system seller for me would be if they work a deal with Konami and get Symphony of Night on there. 20 games might seem like not a whole hell of a lot, but then some PlayStation games do get pretty big. If they're going to be putting other RPGs on there besides Final Fantasy VII, some of them had more than one disc. Some of them had as many as four. Um, heck, Final Fantasy VII had three right there. So... Some of those games do get to take up quite a bit of space. Disc games are a little bit bigger than the cartridge types that you've been seeing on the Nintendo uh, Classics already. So that's a factor why it's only 20. Something that uh, I don't think anybody's really pointing out except for I saw it on a website Polygon is in a lot of the pictures they show a, a little flap, a little like cover on the back of a console similar to the spot that the original PS1s had their expansion port. That makes me a little curious. I'm kind of wondering what they're going to be doing there. Could it have some kind of means for expandability? Could we have an SD card slot? Now that would be like a real kick if they did something like that. You know, it'd be nice if there was a means to have more games on it 
that would really make a lot of people a lot more interested in this console. A little curiosity, but then again, these pictures, we don't know how far along they are. I mean, it's only a couple months out, but how much are they really showing us? The pictures they show, they might just be even a mock-up, and that might not even be on the final product. Who knows? We won't know until somebody gets their hands on this darn thing. Personally, I like the idea of the PlayStation 1 Classic. It's kind of a natural progression. We've had Nintendo make their classic consoles. We've had all these uh, at games consoles that are basically kind of classic editions in their own right, just licensed, not uh, fully uh, brought out by uh, these companies. And the less we talk about some of those at games, the better, but that's a totally different story. Anyway, I think it's a great idea, and I'd love to see what they're going to do. I'm not really sure I'm ready to uh, start throwing my dollars at Sony, but it's out there for pre-order on GameStop's website already, and I'm sure it's on others. That's just the only one that I happen to check. Now I'd like to hear what you think. Is this something you'd be interested in buying? Is this something you're looking forward to? Is this something you're excited about? What games would you want to see on this thing? Let me know your opinions. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.